For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 13 of season 2 here in the Chelsea career mode. We start with the final game in the Champions League group stage against Paris Saint-Germain. But as you can see from the table, we're already through, we're already guaranteed top spot and PSG are already guaranteed to go through and guaranteed to be finishing in second. So there is quite literally nothing on the line in the first game. There is, however, a lot on the line for the game between Benfica and RZ Alkmaar. Whoever wins that game will go into the knockout stages of the Europa League. If it's a draw, then it will most definitely be Benfica that do that. We have two games in the Premier League on the horizon as well, one against West Brom and one against Crystal Palace. We were able to get ourselves back up into the top four in the last episode and I'd like to improve on that further today and close the gap on Manchester United at the top of the table. Because there's nothing on the line here against uh, PSG, then uh, I will play some of the kids and give them some experience against one of the uh, better sides in Europe, see how they get on. I will start Morata though, because at present, Tammy Abraham is my number one starting striker. So uh, Alvaro Morata will still start here against PSG, but I'll uh, rotate out the rest of the side and we'll see what happens. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more content. Let's travel to Paris. No weaker side being fielded by PSG. In fact, they've got new striker Andrea Bellotti starting up top instead of uh, Edinson Cavani. Other than that, I believe it's the same side that played against us in the first game, although Marquinhos and Vincent Company have swapped sides, I think. So uh, we got a win against them last time. I'll try and get a win against them again. Palmer into Pasilic. Charlie Musonda itching to make that run in behind, but I don't really want to play it just yet. Morata here in support. That's a good first touch. I'll hit it early because Marquinhos is there. And despite being a good foot or so away from the ball, he was still able to stretch and get a block on that. Vincent Company wins that header. It will drop here to Kenneth Omaruo. We'll look for a teammate. We'll find Zuma, his centre back partner. Nice ball into Kennedy. We'll look for Casey Palmer. Hit it early. It's Vincent Company that's there. And again, Company clears. Good defending so far from PSG. Decent attacking from me, but no breakthrough yet. Here is Neymar, though. He might break through. That's a good cross. I'm just going to nod this home, though. That really wasn't very well nodded home at all, was it, Luke Shaw? But we have eventually been able to clear it away. Around the corner there into Morata. A little fake shot there really didn't work at all, did it? Into Morata. Around the corner. Blocked by Krokoviak. It'll drop to Pasilic. That's deflected. Oh! And was headed towards the top corner if it weren't for the attentions of Kevin Trapp. Good save. Corner comes in. Morata's underneath it. I've no idea who won that header. There's four people ended up on the floor, one of which is a PSG man who stayed down, but it will be Di Maria to bring the ball away, and he's going to have to come off, in fact. It's Marquinhos, the centre-back, so who are they going to bring on in his place? Holding his knee, I'm not sure. Yes, four people just on the floor rolling around on top of each other. Who's that? I don't recognise him. I'll wait and see until it tells me. Who are you? Turn around if you want. OK, fine. Well, he's gone off. Marquinhos... Out, and who is on in his place? Let's have a quick look, shall we? On in his place is Yuri, the left-back, playing at centre-back now. Ratti to Rabio, quickly into Andrea Bellotti, who drags the ball back there, finds Neymar, plays the one-two. Good block by Kenneth Amorua. First time PSG have threatened, and it was blocked well by the defender. Neymar will take the corner, eventually. There we go. Into the middle it comes, and Amorua will clear, and Casey Palmer will complete the clearance. So PSG pushing to get themselves in front. Like I say, nothing on the line here in this game, so uh, we'll just take it as it comes. I'm not too fussed if I lose, but it might be nice to win. But the youngsters have played well so far. Morata has been involved, but not too threatening. I'll try and pull that back there. That was a terrible pass, but it's probably my fault trying to play the pass at the wrong angle. 27 minutes in, it's a nil-nil. Ratty missed the tackle. Here's Rabiot. Out to Neymar, into Velotti. Oh, it's a really good goal. It's a very good goal. First goal of the game, it's PSG 1, Chelsea 0. Quick passing, Rabiot out to Neymar, into Bellotti, and then, well, he barely even had any back left there. He just swept it home with his left foot, just placed it. Really, really good finish from a man that we know is a really, really good striker. 1-0 PSG. Nice tackle by Van Kinkle. Casey Palmer making moves, but Kennedy's got the space to get in behind here, and he's past Thomas Mernier. Company can't deal with the pace either. All the change of direction the pass wasn't the best but it dropped to Van Hinkle that deflected off two people one being Casey Palmer and cleared away by Mernier to Rabiot been a 
competitive first half, despite this being a weaker team for me fielded here. Charlie Musonda, I'll hit this because why not? Deflected off Korovia. It's been a competitive first half that we've very much been involved in and have had chances in. We have another one here. Murata flicks it on, headed away by Krahoviak. Seemingly in the way of everything at the minute. Kenneth Omaro, what's it to cut Zuma? Do I have anyone? Oh, someone's oh, on the floor injured, but I can't quite squeeze it to Mernier. And uh, Kennedy would have been onside, but wasn't able to get it to him. Never mind, 1-0 down at the break, but we might be able to get something out of this still. Bellotti out to Neymar. That first touch is taking him back inside brilliantly. Bellotti gets it across there to Rabiot. Back to Bellotti. Rabiot making a run, but there's Di Maria. That is 2-0 PSG. The quality is telling here, it seems, in this one now. It was competitive in the first half, but it's been a bit one-way action at the beginning of the second. And you can just tell that the way that they're playing the ball about and the way that they're finishing, they are the better team. Here's Bellotti. Played in out wide. Um, all right. <laughs> How was the defender just... Oh, I'm not even going to bother. Corner for PSG on the hour mark. Pastore on for Rabio. Decent delivery. Blotti flicks that on, but the near post tactic doesn't work. Still just 2-0 with half an hour to play. Corner for the hosts. They've taken off Andrea Bellotti and brought on Edinson Cavani. Whipped in, and Cavani's underneath it. And Brown with the save. We've not been able to prevent a secondary corner, but it's a good stop by the youngster. Corner. Oh, they are going to go short this time. Verratti... Into Neymar, I'll have that, thank you. Oh, I only intended to tackle him and then try and pass it out, but never mind. Can Murata get to that before Di Maria? No, but he has beaten Di Maria to the ball second at the second attempt. Right, now make me a decent run, please, Alvaro. Good lad. And can we get past Vincent Company? That's the question. The answer is yes, and Alvaro Murata doesn't score. Charlie Musonda can't head it back across goal. Kazawa heads behind for a Chelsea corner. Van Eagle to take. Decent delivery. Keeper's going to come and catch as well. Casey Palmer. Finds Morata. Look for Kennedy. A really good opportunity. Kennedy, there we go. There's one back. We had a chance a moment ago that we weren't able to take. But this time we have tucked it away. Kennedy putting the ball away with 18 minutes to go. We're back in the game. Casey Palmer going off. And uh, Isco coming on. Also Charlie Musonda being replaced by Pedro. So two more uh, first team players. More experienced and higher rated players coming on. And now we only have a one goal deficit. We might be able to get a draw out of this yet. Draw forward to Kennedy. Isco is there on the inside and will find him and use him well. Get that to Morata, who can get it back to Isco, who's around the outside of Vincent Company here. Isco isn't strong enough. Yes, he is strong enough to hold off Vincent Company. Good save by Trap. Corner to the near post. Whipped in. Zuma's underneath this. I've no idea who that came off last. I think it might have been Kurt Zuma still, and indeed it was. PSG throw. This is really good football from Pace Sanjman. Again, oh, Pastore with a triple step over, trying to reach in to get the ball away, and I just can't get close to them. Oh, Verratti misses the target. That's undefendable when they play like that. You just can't get the ball away from the man in possession. Good header by Krahoviak up against Morata. Not able to get the ball off them again, and Verratti thankfully kicks that straight to me, but I've given it straight back to the Italian. Well done, Mario Pasalic. That was a wonderful pass. Here's Neymar down the left-hand side. Oh, leaves Moses on his ass. Javier Pastore, back to Neymar, spins, shoots on target, but saved by Brown. Omaruo into Moses. Is there time for one final chance for an equaliser? Perhaps. Kennedy with a turn? No, is the answer. Oh, OK, never mind, a 2-1 defeat. But I played a really weak side, and to be fair, we fought back into it well. Kennedy with the goal. They were the better team on the night, but we had just as many chances as them, so... It's promising for the players that were rotated in. Benfica win by three goals to one, so they will finish third in the group and uh, go into the Europa League knockout stage. We, of course, progress through as group champions to the uh, round of 16 in the Champions League as well, which I don't think will have been drawn just yet. £18.5 million added to next season's transfer budget. Coutinho's disappointed that he's not been playing, but he is going to play in this next game against West Brom, so he doesn't need to worry about it too much, playing them on the Monday. I will quickly check to see... Once we get past the uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, what the knockout round of the Champions League looks like. Because obviously they'd have to wait until the Europa League groups have confirmed before they can uh, draw that particular competition. So the Champions League won't be drawn until the same day. Have a look at the calendar and it'll be in February. January, February, uh, Leon. We have Leon in the round of 16 of the Champions League. And a full, really? A full month between the two, the two legs in the round of 16? That's... 20th of March is very late by a round of 16 game, isn't it? Oh well, well we have Leon, that's definitely winnable, as is this game away from home against West Brom. 
Kieran Gibbs and Seamus Coleman as the wing backs for West Brom in a 4 1 4 1. They're currently 19th in the league, so I don't know how well they're going to play against me here. They are the lowest scoring side in the division, and we have the best defensive record in the division. So I think that means I'm going to keep a clean sheet, but I said that I'd beat Huddersfield yesterday and ended up losing, so it could go either way. Can't say. There's Coutinho. Coutinho. Oh, great turn. Get that in there to Tammy Abraham, who spun well. Tammy with the effort. Good save by Ben Foster. Hazard brings it down. Finds... Oh, is that a pen? No. Coutinho's got the ball. No, he doesn't. I was just about to let rip with Eden Hazard there. I thought I'd worked enough space to be able to get the shot off. Willian's going to have to pick up on that loose ball. We'll get it there to Kante. And uh, we'll go through there to Tony Kroos. Then out to Willian. Look for Tammy Abraham. Never mind. It's going to go to Coutinho. He turns well. Look to finesse that in the far top corner. And he's really not far away at all. Keeper at full stretch. But didn't need to make the save as Coutinho's effort goes wide of the post. Kante. Out to Willian. Just holds off the defender, Kieran Gibbs. Ricardo in there to cross. Around the corner to Coutinho. Spins well into Tammy, who also spins well. Tammy Abraham with another opportunity. Good challenge from the defender. Willian pulls back to Tony Kroos. Her first touch to get away from the defender and score! Which is exactly what happens. Tony Kroos gives us a 1-0 lead here after 13 minutes. Really nice strike from the German. It's what he's best at. Edge of the box. Pick your spot. Power at home. 1-0 Chelsea. Kante. Drills it out wide there to Willian. Through the gap to Tammy Abraham. Turns well. Coutinho and Willian making forward runs. We will use Willian. Drop the shoulder well. Pass Kieran Gibbs. Willian. There's a second. This is going well now. Willian with uh, the finish. And Tammy Abraham with another assist. Into Willian. Good first touch. And to be fair, really good finish too. This is more like it. This is what I expect from my first team. Tammy Abraham seemingly making the difference. To Tammy. Out to Willian. Just to turn inside and does well. There's Coutinho. To Tammy. To Willian. Tammy got caught there. But Willian continues and scores a third. I'm not... I mean, I'm not sure where this performance has come from. But... I'm kind of glad it's happening. This is the confidence boost I needed. Chelsea 3, West Brom 0 after 22 minutes. SP tackles Matt Phillips. Hazard will go back to Azpilicueta. Still Tammy Abraham. In fact, have three people in the box. Aspi's cross, I think, was blocked there. But William will get it back into the middle. It's dangerous, but cleared away. Kroos doesn't have the space to turn and shoot there. But could get it here to Kante. Kante to Tammy Abraham. Get the shot off early. Good save by Ben Foster. Looking for a fourth, but not able to get it yet. Although the way we've been playing so far, there's no reason why we can't get a fourth. Headed away by James Morrison. Picked up by Ricardo Pereira. There's Andreas Christensen. Uh, I'll go to Kroos. That's not Kroos. That's Coutinho. Coutinho will try and get it at Hazard. But good tackle by Cotziello. And West Brom will counter. Matthew Phillips on the run. Or Matt Phillips on the run forward. But Kante intercepts and gives it straight to Luberator. So Matt Phillips has it back again. As Pete can nearly match him for pace. I thought he'd run it off the pitch there. He didn't. Berater with the cross. I'll just nod this home. That'll be Sim. Paul. Um... He just said in commentary he put it into his own net, but I'm pretty sure Jay Rodriguez got on that. I just tried to head that back to my keeper so that he could catch it. That's... He has! It was Pereira that headed that! What was it? From the first angle it looked like it was Pereira, from the second it looked like it was Rodriguez. It's gone down as a Pereira own goal. How, when I'm trying to nod that back to my keeper, have you powered it across goal into the far bottom corner? Excellent finish. Only problem is, it was in his own goal. 3-1. Coutinho into Tammy Abraham. Oh, what a turn. Tammy Abraham is four. Good finish from the youngster. Just got a call up to the England national side in real life. And uh, judging by his performances so far... In this uh, little purple patch he's in right now. Deservedly so as well. Been very good for Swansea in real life. And very good for me here in this series. In the first half still. Chelsea 4. West Brom 1. This turn. There's Coutinho. Tammy Abraham there. Tammy. Good save. Got caught there I think Tammy Abraham. We'll take the corner. See if we can get a fifth. Before half time. Eden Hazard with the whip. Up goes Tony Kroos. Wins the header. Hits the post. It hits Ben Foster. And goes in. Well, that's unfortunate. That is really, really unlucky for um, Ben Foster there. I don't goal at each end now. <laughs> I 
it only just trickled over the line as well. It come back off the post, hits him, and then it's going so slowly. It actually hits the woodwork again and then crosses the line. Oh, it hits him on the back and then the foot too. Seamus Coleman can't react in time and it's over the line. It is Chelsea 5, West Brom 1 with an own goal apiece. Cuts yellow to Matt Phillips. Just comes in and Pereira can't win the header. This time at the back post, it's Jay Rodriguez and Ricardo Pereira and it is Jay Rodriguez that wins the header. Just two minutes into the second half, it's 5-2. This is the most ridiculous game we've played in the entirety of this Chelsea series, I think. Looping cross. Great header. Postage stamp stuff into that top left corner. Look how close it is to the bar and the uh, the post. Actually, it was a little bit further in towards the centre of the goal than it looked from the initial angle. But still, great header from Jay Rodriguez. Seven goals in the 47th minute. Tackled by Kante. Willian. In there to Coutinho. Tammy Abraham is around the corner, but it's going to go to Eden Hazard here. Drives forward. Eden Hazard, it's 6-2. I don't know what's happened, lads. I can't explain to you what is happening in this game, but after just 52 minutes, it's 6-2. This hasn't happened in ages. In a really long time. I don't know what the scoreline is going to be at the end of this. Christensen to Cruz. To Coutinho. To Tammy Abraham. Oh, great footwork. Tammy Abraham for seven. No, on his left foot, he's kicked it straight at Ben Foster. New Barreta going off from Salomon Rondon, I think, coming on. Eden Hazard with a cross. Cruz underneath it, maybe. You know, Nasser Chadley wins the header. It is Salomon Rondon that's come on. Very nearly 7-2 there, thanks to uh, Tammy Abraham. But a good save from Ben Foster stops us from getting a five-goal advantage. Corner for West Brom. Ten minutes to go. Well, 11 minutes to go. And it's whipped. Underneath that is going to be Hagazi. Good save by Courtois. Close to 6-3. <laughs> I can't believe this game has gone the way it has, to be honest. It's been ages, actually, since we've had a goal. It feels like it's been ages since we've had a goal. Try and rectify that here. Lovely ball out to Hazard, and he is going to reach it. And I'll look to turn inside. Eden Hazard to whip it. Agazi with a block. Pull that back to Angolo Kante. He'll shoot and miss. Kante. Hazard's looking to get in behind. What a ball from Tony Cruz. Honestly, that is outrageous. Eden Hazard turns inside. Izzy Matt does well to stop me from getting the angle to get a seventh goal. There hasn't been a goal for a while, actually, which makes a change for this game. Laporte, oh, kicks that against Rondon, but thankfully Aspie's there on the cover. Cruz will... Uh, oh, I can't get over how good that ball was from Tony Cruz to Eden Hazard. Coutinho, forward to Tammy Abraham, up against the defender, trying to push around the outside that's not worked. Has he got the strength to hold him off? He doesn't. Into the 90th minute and stoppage time now. This has been a peculiar game. We haven't had one like this in the uh, Chelsea series for a very long time. One where just everything seems to go in. So far this season, it seems like everything seems to be saved in the majority of games. But uh, this one has been quite the polar opposite. Now, so Chadley brings that down. Oh, but he's offside. And I'm pretty sure as I kick this uh, down the pitch, the final whistle will go. We had dropped out of the top four prior to this game. That was supposed to go downfield. Never mind. We dropped out the top four prior to this game because this is being played on the Sunday. But we'll jump back now and see where we are in the league. 18 shots, 12 on target, 61% possession. Uh, it was on the Monday even against, uh, against West Brom. For some reason, my brain uh, told me it was on the Sunday. And we've got Crystal Palace coming up in the next game. I don't know where they are in the league, actually. West Brom last year were in the top three, weren't they, for a while. As well as Bournemouth, actually, towards the end of the season. And that moves us back into third. Four points off Manchester United at the top of the table. Tammy Abraham is making the difference for me up top. We'll see if he can do it again against Crystal Palace. 5-4-1 for Crystal Palace away from home. Very defensive. Christian Benteke leading the line. Strong side though. Scott Dan always plays well against me, as does Mamadou Sacco. So it won't be easy, but confident of a win. That's Pete. In there to Christensen, to Cruz. Coutinho trying to find some space, but can't. There's Tammy Abraham. Good turn to get the shot off early. Oh, it was on target as well. Good save by Capino. As I'm trying to keep that in, but can't. It'd be a goal kick. First chance after just three minutes for Tammy Abraham, but not able to score. Coutinho. Out to Willian. Into Cruz. To Kante. To Coutinho. To Tammy. To the turn. To the fin. Finish at the second attempt. Oh, off the bar. Hazard win that header. Tell me Abraham's so unlucky. 
not to give us a 1 0 lead there. Hazard will take the throw. Coutinho was initially my only option, but Tony Kroos has arrived, so we will cross it with him instead. Okay. Why it's gone to Kante, I'm not sure. Milijevic will clear. That's annoying. Kante wins the header. Kroos knocks it down. Palace just cannot get out of their own half right now. Tammy Abraham again brings it down. Good shot, well saved by Capino. Really got them pinned in. Playing some great football in today's episode. Or at least in the two games in the Premier League anyway. The rotated side against PSG didn't do too well. But it was, as we mentioned, a heavily rotated side. So I can't be too critical of them. Ricardo Pereira intercepts that well. And just manages to get it to Coutinho. It's Willian through the middle now. We'll look to bend it from the edge of the box. But it's a great tackle by Riedewald. Milijevic. Oh, Christensen. Whoop. Gets that just the way after getting it stuck under his feet. Coutinho into the middle there to Cruz. It's just so many defenders back here with the 5 for one formation that they're playing. And Tammy Abraham trying his best to work and muscle his way inside, but he's struggling in this one. To be fair, I think any striker would struggle against nine defenders. Five minutes to go till half-time. After scoring six in the last one, it's still only nil-nil. Lovely ball over the top to Turby. They've barely threatened all game long, but they might be going 1-0 up here. Oh, but they're not. Sabitza hits the post. Wow, for all of my pressure that I wasn't able to pay, it's nearly Palace to go in at the break 1-0 in front. We're lucky to still be at 0-0. Chris to Aspie, driving forward. Coutinho's making a good run, and I'll just try and slot it into him. If I can get the ball under control here, surely Coutinho to make it 1-0. Yes, the perfect start to the second half. We've been on the pitch, what, three minutes? Yes, three and a half minutes, and I do get lucky. With the way that it stays at Coutinho's feet there as it cannons off his shins and the calves of the defender in front of him. But it's still very well tucked away. It's a nice ball. In fairness, I think the defender tried to clear it rather than it coming back off his calves. But never mind. Good finish by Coutinho. Finally, we have ourselves a breakthrough. We were in front. Benteke. Oh, intercepted by Christensen. But it drops back to Christian Benteke. And don't tell me, oh, what a save. That they're going to equalise immediately. They aren't. Thibaut Courtois. Oh, well, they still might. Benteke, that's over the bar. What a save from Thibaut Courtois. Disgusting reactions from the Belgian there. That was outrageous. Turby, out muscled by Aspi and gets it quickly to Tony Kroos. We'll go to Tammy first, then to Coutinho. Tammy can turn in and look to run behind, but we'll actually go to N'Golo Kante here. Bit of space for Willian. Get the angle much better and finish. All oh, tidily tucked away. Chelsea 2, Crystal Palace 0. We're finding our goal scaring. Goal scaring? No. Halloween's over. Goal scoring form again. Two goals in the second half so far. Probably won't get five like we did in the game against West Brom. But we do have a little bit of daylight now between ourselves and Palace. Nice tackle by SP. Into Tammy. Coutinho rather reluctant to make the run around the outside it seems. But we get it to him eventually. And then to Tammy Abraham. Go on Tammy. Score us another goal. Finish from Tammy Abraham. How good is he right now? I don't need Alvaro Morata. Who needs 87 rated Alvaro Morata when you've got 81 rated Tammy Abraham? Deadly. That's Pete. Forward to Pedro. Oh, they give man the match to Coutinho, not to Tammy Abraham. Are you? Into the middle to Sabitzer. There's no time for Palace to get themselves back in it now. All they can do is get a consolation goal, but they're not even going to be able to do that if their passing is that bad. Coutinho, Cruz fired, I think, is the only way to phrase that to Tammy Abraham. Coutinho arriving. Look for Tammy Abraham again and look for a fourth. Well blocked. Loft this in with Isco. And there's Pedro for the volley, and there is the fourth. Isco on, on the right-hand side of midfield. Pedro brought in as well for Eden Hazard on the left-hand side. And they link up the two substitutes. Spaniard to Spaniard. He only just kept that in there, Isco, but it's a perfect cross. The volley's straight at the keeper, but Pedro able to divert it in via the keeper's midriff. It's 4-0, and we've scored 10 goals in two games. Where has that come from? 10 goals in two games. I doubt I'd scored 10 goals in the previous seven or eight games, to be completely honest, in the Premier League. City draw, Man United won, which is annoying. Uh, Everton beat Southampton and Bournemouth beat Villa. Not sure who else is doing what at the top of the table. City's still down there near the bottom, though. Let's have a look, shall we? The Premier League table is as follows. We're up to second, but we're still four points behind uh, Man United. And actually, Arsenal can go above us with a win in their game in hand. Uh, Spurs 
could uh, draw level with us. In fact, go above us on goal difference. No, they couldn't. I'm looking at uh, Arsenal's tally. They could come within uh, three points of us, uh, two points of us even, Spurs, if they win their game in hand. Liverpool and Huddersfield got game in hand as well, as do Leicester, Villa, West Brom and Norwich. West Brom got hammered. So we've scored 29 goals in 16 games, but 10 of those have come in the last two. So I, I scored 10 in two and 19 in 14. I don't know where that form's come from, but long may it continue. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to let me know your... To let me know? No. Let me know in the comment section down below is what I was going to say. What you think I should do in the transfer window. Uh, because that's going to start in the episode after tomorrow. But for now, <laughs> that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you.